no, he's, um, <laughs> well, he has a life with his mom, that's it. Yeah, so, so give us a little background of what you, of where this character is supposed to be, you know, is this, is, uh, is this sort of supposed to be something very unusual in, back in Italy, or is it supposed to be? Yeah, I mean, I think in general it's unusual that you live with your mom <laughs> 40 years old, even for Italians, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> But uh, yeah, the, the idea was it wasn't much mental health for for that character, but uh, it was more about um, I, you probably missed that whole thing. But he worked for a hospital mm -hmm. in a future where in Italy we have like free health, and this was a hospital that had been bought by the Chinese it, by a, multi, a Chinese multinational, and it was privatized. And in order to be admitted to the hospital, he needed to have you know, credits, which was, I guess, it's a bit like it works here in the United States, but in Europe, it would be absurd, at least in Italy, like to have to pay to go to the hospital. So that was the this this topic future that that I was trying to. Jessica, you get to tell us everything. Yeah. <laughs> Francesco is my brother. I'm Neri. I'm I'm oh, brother Francesco. Well, that's right. He's the director. I'm the writer. That's right. So apologies. Your so your name is Neri. And Neri. Or, that's uh, right. Of course. Yeah. Neri, you got to explain in Neri. a very short time. I can dub the movie a few replays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, maybe maybe heart, I'll, so. oh, that's interesting. We 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 might consider replaying. Think, we yeah. might consider replaying it for you, but you literally would have to dub it. I know. I know. I have to involve <laughs> the characters, but I think <laughs> the actor is good enough so that people understood. Yeah. Like the main theme, mm -hmm. yeah. you just miss like the dialogues, which I mean, absolutely, they're okay, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I do think I think the there is the sort of why he was doing it. I'm not sure that that was entirely clear without the dialogue. Why why is he doing all of this? Uh, I think because the main um, focus is freedom, like freedom from from your job, from uh, from your boss, from whatever is keeping you. Constra constra constrained, is that a word? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so I guess freedom is a key word, definitely. Was this written during COVID-19? It was written be before COVID, and the last day of shooting was like a day before there was lockdown in yeah. Italy. It was supposed to be a feature film, and then we started editing it via um, uh, sharing screen. My brother was sharing his screen with me. And um, and then when COVID was over, like I don't know, we just never never finished it. So we decided to make it into a a short movie. It was supposed to be a, a the beginning of a future movie. So the ending is kind of tack. You know, we just put we just found that final scene to make it kind of to give it closure. But uh, yeah. Well, I think that that kind of works. It's actually the yeah. abrupt ending is kind of quite strong, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna. That's just just a little bit more general questions about you guys, if I may, as filmmakers. Um, so um, I'm starting with you. So you work. Um, you you work as the producer. Oh uh, well, we self-produce. So like me and my brother, we basically did everything. We put. It was paid by us, like it was our money, and uh, we, yeah, we did everything. Like Quinta Studio, which is the production company, is actually our production company. So, and it cost us uh, fifteen thousand euros to make. It's pretty impressive. Yeah. So we thought if we can make thirty minutes with fifteen thousand, we can probably make a whole movie with forty-five thousand, and uh, but that. It didn't happen, so if you guys have thirty-five thousand, you want to give us? We finish it. <laughs> no, but it might, it might, it might yet happen. It yeah. might become. It might I'm become actually trying, adventure. but uh, uh, I just put it on Indie Indiegogo. It's called. Mm -hmm. I saw one of the movies that I don't know if it was one of yours. Mm -hmm. It had like Indiegogo in the credits. Yeah. It was yours, yeah. So probably you can explain me <laughs> how to get money there. <laughs> yeah. Did you not have crowdfunding in uh, Italy? Yeah, we do, but uh, I, I just put it on crowdfunding like uh, two weeks ago, so I really don't know how to to get people to invest in, oh, right. you know, like... It's, uh, well, it's difficult. 
Yeah. Uh, but tomorrow we have um, Carol it, there. We do have a seminar on this. If you want to come. Yeah, she told me. She told Carol, me. Carol uh, will ha will help you. It's what she she does with her life. <laughs> Convinces investors to give her money. Um, no, no, I'm very I'm very bad at that. <laughs> uh, so so in this in this production company and in pulling this together, who, who was involved? There was you and your brother. Is the is the actor? Um, a professional uh, actor? Yeah, he, he's he's a really good actor. He's actually been in uh, he's in Mission Impossible. Mm -hmm. He's in uh, the next Terrence Malick movies uh, movie, but he only has these tiny little parts of like thirty seconds. <laughs> but if you watch his IMDb, he could be like the Nero, you know, like for all the movies. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he always gets cut out of movies for some reason, even in Italy. But he's really good, I think. Oh, absolutely, and um, and you and the person who filmed the you have someone who yeah, is a cinematographer. Yeah, Cipriani. Yeah, he's a uh, cinematographer. Oh, yeah. A very nice cinematography. Yeah, that might say so. Very nicely yeah. done. That's where most of our budget went. Was <laughs> cinematography. Oh, yeah. Cool. Um, Kim, tell me a bit about.